Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 18th of August. 2611 accused the Havur Rana step closer to extradition to India. Yasin Malik's wife inducted into Pakistan's caretaker government. And Bangladesh demands US to hand over Bangabandhu's killer. And now for all the details. In a big win for Indian probe agencies, a US court has rejected the habeas corpus petition of 2611 Mumbai attack accused Tahavur Rana, paving the way for the extradition of the Canadian businessman of Pakistani descent to India for trial. India accuses Rana of participating in the planning and execution of the terror attacks in 2008. He has been convicted by the US for supporting Pakistan-based Lashkar-e-Taiba terror group, which conducted the 26-11 attacks, which killed at least 166 people, including six Americans. The US State Department on Thursday reaffirmed that Washington is pressing that those responsible for the Mumbai attacks be brought to justice. Sure Deputy spokesperson Vedant Patel, however, said Rana's extradition is still a pending matter. Earlier this month, India's Home Minister Amit Shah had assured the parliament that Tahavur Rana will soon face Indian judiciary. Indeed, it's a great success for India. And I have no hesitation to say that because of the good relation between the U.S. government and Indian government, uh, U.S. administration had uh, correctly declared that in any case, whosoever the offender in the 26 November terror attack case on Mumbai, they should be punished according to law. I think this is a great statement of U.S. Administration Department. And now since Dahav Rana, uh, habeas corpus has been already rejected by the American court. And now the U.S. Administration, of course, it would all depend upon now the U.S. Administration when it is to be uh, sent back to India for trial. Rescue operations continued for fifth consecutive day in Shimla district of India's Himachal Pradesh on Friday, where a tragic rain-triggered landslide led to a temple collapse, killing at least 19 people. Army and rescue personnel have been deployed to find more bodies under the debris, as locals say at least seven people are still missing. There are fears of more disaster, as the weather department has predicted scattered rains in the next four to five days. मैं करीब 500 मीटर दूर है यहाँ से वहाँ समसान घाट से हमारे एनडीआरएफ की टीम और आर्मी और एसडीआरएफ और पुलिस के और कुछ मैनुअली जो है लगे हुए हैं वो छोटे-छोटे टुकड़े में जैसे कि कि 10-10 बंदों की टुकड़ी बांटी गई है और उनको 20-20 मीटर का इलाका दिया गया है जहां उनको लगता है कि मलबा कुछ ऊपर चढ़ा है या मलबा कुछ नाले में भी है तो उसको पूरी तरह से डिगिंग करके और उसको रिमूव करके वहां सर्च का अभियान चला मीनवाइल लार्ज स्वेज ऑफ फील्ड्स एंड रेजिडेंशियल एरियाज ऑन थर्सडे वर फ्लडेड आफ्टर एक्सेस वाटर वाज रिलीज फ्रॉम डैम्स इन नॉर्दर्न पंजाब स्टेट फॉलोइंग हैवी रेन्स हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पीपल लिविंग इन लो लाइंग एरियाज ऑफ गुरदासपुर एरिया वर इवैक्यूएटेड टू सेफर लोकेशंस बाय रेस्क्यू वर्कर्स there have been increasing instances of extreme weather in recent years in India, causing large-scale damage to life and property. Moving on, Pakistan's Interim Prime Minister Anwarul Hakkakar on Thursday expanded his cabinet and has appointed jail separatist leader Yasin Malik's wife, Mishal Hussain Malik, as a special advisor for human rights, local media reported. Yasin Malik, the chief of a banned militant outfit, has been serving life imprisonment in India's Tihar jail after he pleaded guilty to charges of terror funding and secessionist activities against India. A plea by federal agency NIA seeking death sentence for Malik is also pending in the Delhi High Court. India has long accused Pakistan AIDS terror activities in the Indian Territory. Islamabad, however, denies the allegation. 
Meanwhile, Pakistan's blasphemy law has come under spotlight again after a Muslim mob burned churches and houses in a Christian settlement in Faisalabad, accusing two of its members of desecrating the Quran. Pakistani Christians and Muslims have called for action after a Muslim mob vandalized and torched several churches and scores of houses in a Christian settlement in Faisalabad, accusing two of its members of desecrating the Quran. The attack took place in Faisalabad district on Wednesday and continued for more than 10 hours without any intervention by police who were at the scene, residents and community leaders said. Police have denied the accusation, saying security forces had prevented an even worse situation. At least 128 people have been rounded up for vandalism, while on Friday, the two Christians accused of blasphemy were also arrested. The incident has again put a spotlight on Pakistan's blasphemy law, which seeks death penalty for anyone who insults Islam and its prophet Muhammad. We request the government of Pakistan and especially President of Pakistan, Prime Minister of Pakistan, Chief of Army Staff and Chief Justice of Pakistan to take strong measures to stop and eliminate terrorizing and hurting activities towards the minorities in the name of religion and execute sufficient confidence to the religious minorities in Pakistan. Critics say the blasphemy law is often misused against Pakistan's tiny minority groups to settle personal scores. Although no one has ever been executed, blasphemy convictions are common. Most convictions are thrown out on appeal by higher courts, but mobs have lynched dozens of people in vigilant attacks even before a case is put on trial. <laughs> The Paris-based Reporters Without Borders has brought to light a worrying surge in the detention of journalists in Afghanistan following the Taliban's return to power in 2021. Within the past 10 days, nine journalists have been arrested by the Taliban causing significant concern among media organizations globally. The organization revealed that 12 journalists are currently being held in detention without any apparent reason and called the recent raids on independent media as troubling. Meanwhile, the latest findings by the Afghanistan Independent Journalist Association have revealed that around 200 media outlets have closed down since Taliban came into power. The report added that more than 7,000 media professionals, including many women, have faced distressing consequence of job loss, compelling many to seek overseas opportunities. The Taliban's crushing of press freedom comes as it has reimposed many of the repressive laws and policies that defined its extremist 1996-2001 rule. Bangladesh Deputy Foreign Minister Shahriyar Alam on Thursday called on the United States to show respect to Bangladesh law and hand over Bangabandhu's killer Rashid Chaudhary to Dhaka, news agency UNB reported. Speaking at a gathering, Alam said assassination of the country's founder Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was the biggest human rights violation in independent Bangladesh and as an advocate of democracy and human rights, US should avoid to give refuge to fugitives convicted by Bangladesh justice system. Earlier, Foreign Minister Abdul Momin had also slammed Canada and the United States for giving shelter to Rahman's self-confessed killer instead of handing him over to Bangladesh. Indian wrestler Mohit Kumar, who created history after winning the Under-20 World Wrestling Championship in Jordan this week, returned to a rousing welcome back home on Friday. Mohit won the gold in 61 kg freestyle category. He has become the fourth Indian freestyle wrestler to win the title. During the 2023 Jordan event, Indian grappler Priya Malik also won gold medal, becoming the second female wrestler from India to be crowned as under-20 world champion. So far, India has won a total of seven medals, including two gold, one silver and four bronze medals. ये हमारे कोच साहब गुरु जी जो इन्हें बहुत ज्यादा संघर्ष किया है उन्हीं को समर्पित करूंगा मैं ओलंपिक लड़ेंगे जब ओलंपिक गोल्ड का ही टारगेट रहेगा अच्छा लग रहा है जी ये तो बहुत 
दिनों से इंतजार था इस चीज़ का और ये अब इसमें सक्सेस हो पाया है वर्ल्ड चैंपियन ये चौथा पांचवा ही मेडल हिंदुस्तान में आज तक वर्ल्ड चैंपियन जो जूनियर के बने हैं दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन वी विल सी यू सेम टाइम नेक्स्ट वीक हैव अ ग्रेट वीकेंड गुड नाइट टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया